thank you so much for having me with you here today to celebrate this momentous achievement. I just wanted to reflect on how amazing the photograph was and the history that comes behind this training program. And congratulations to being the first cohort since 2019 to attend this four-week training program. Over 900 women and men, I understand, have now attended this training. And I acknowledge also the personal sacrifices you've made to be away from your families for so long. So I know you must all be looking forward to getting home very soon. Indivi individuals such as yourselves make really meaningful and positive change. And I'm sure this training, as Shamima has said, was filled with discussions of your own experiences and examples of how you are addressing gender-based violence in your own communities through awareness raising, counselling support and lobbying. As a long-standing partner with Fiji Women's Crisis Centre, Australia has worked with Shamima and the team to support the provision of essential services to victim survivors and to provide training across Fiji and the Pacific. Training capacity programs, such as this regional training program, help to identify, address and respond to gender-based violence. This is so important as we know our Pacific region has some of the highest rates of gender-based violence in the world. 30 to 60% of women in most countries have experienced physical and sexual violence in their lifetime. And Australia is not immune from this either. In Australia, one in four women have experienced sexual violence and one in two have experienced sexual harassment in their lifetime. Australia is currently developing a new international equality strategy and that will recognise gender equality as essential to our foreign policy, international development, humanitarian action, trade and security efforts. And through this, as Shamima has said, we are also committed to supporting the ongoing operation of crisis centres throughout the Pacific and I acknowledge your contribution and leadership in this case. Australia is also committed to addressing gender-based violence in Fiji, including through our support with the Ministry of Women and Children and Social Protection. And again, I acknowledge the leadership of Minister Tambua in the implementation of Fiji's National Action Plan to prevent violence against women, against all women and girls. So with that, thank you for the opportunity to speak with you. I'm really looking forward to hearing your reflections on how you found the last four weeks and looking forward to a wonderful evening.